Hello everybody and welcome in to yet another episode of Talking Pittsburgh. It's Friday and I'm here, Preston. That's a switch up. You didn't see that one coming. You're like, here comes Jeremy. Coming We're like here. in the Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's kind of a Twilight Zone. It's a space between time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, watch out everybody, there's stars. Watch out for one of those little posable dolls flying through the air with that weird hair on it. You know what I'm talking about, you've seen the Twilight Zone. Mm-hmm. It is me, it's Preston, your host, a.k.a. Mr. Here on Fridays Now, a.k.a. Mr. Solo Flying Host Guy, a.k.a. Partner of Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hello. Hi. Howdy. How you doing today? Wonderful, yourself? We're, we're having a great day. It's been a great day it's- so far. I have to say it's a nice experience having you here on a Friday. Yeah, it's a different experience. <laughs> different. And I like the word experience. That's what I'm trying to create and cultivate at all moments of my life. It's an the experience. Preston experience. I was talking to my girlfriend last night. Okay, we're decorating okay. new apartment, right? Yeah. And we have like this kind of just space where I think you're supposed to put like a dining room table and yep. chairs and stuff, but yep, it's yep, just yep. the two of us. We've yep. got the island. We've got other, you know, Yeah. we're not interested. So you we're trying need... to figure out what to do with it. Okay. And I, and I floated out there. I was like, what are we putting in a plant? slash art experience Ooh. in the in the area do you know what i'm experience. saying maybe like walk through it maybe sit amongst it i'm mm-hmm. just saying a little indoor nature mm-hmm. for when that wisconsin winter hits mm-hmm. you feel me i like it you know what i'm talking about i like it yeah so you know i'm all about creating like, the experience so is that is that a good spot for the old holiday tree it could be it could <laughs> you, be a good spot you know we've never, never had one yet well here you go in the holiday New, tree so oh well. maybe there you go that's a good idea. I'm, I'm going to have to float that one when I get home. A new experience. That's a new experience. <laughs> a holiday experience. Yeah, that could be kind of our yeah. theme. I know area. it's a little early to talk about that, but just, well, you know, you gave the idea there. You know, you got October. We'll make it a Halloween experience. There you go. Then you got November. We'll make it a Turkey Day experience. Boom. You know what I'm saying? We'll turkey keep day. evolving it. Love it. I'm excited about it's that. It's an evolving space. So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. Maybe Friday by Friday, we'll go and see what's happening I, in the experience. I enjoy it. All it's right. the new experience right here every Friday. Yeah. Any new experiences <laughs> in uh, your neck of the woods over there? Just <sighs> Not too many today. Just Do- maintaining? Doing okay. Fabulous. Yeah. I love that. Shout out to everyone in... Uh, if everyone saw there was a tornado mm. close to my neck of the woods in Deerfield yesterday. Oh, wow. Everyone's okay out there. Good. So thanks for all the response to everyone there. Good so, work. Went well. Good work, everybody. Yep. Uh, also, shout out to those storm spotters out there. Yeah. Crucial. Line well, of defense. It is. So we appreciate you. Yes. Very much. Glad everyone's safe. Yeah, we were out on about, I plant, I, like, I got my pack already. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to go out on this nature mm-hmm. walk out in, the, out in the fields. You'll hear a little, maybe you'll hear about it later. Uh-huh. Maybe I talked about it before we re- recorded. I can't uh-huh. remember. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what's coming up on the show in a second. Yeah. But I got out there about five minutes and it started uh-huh. to thunder and lightning and pouring rain. And it I came out like, of nowhere. Back. Yeah, it was not Boom. good. Yep. So now, quickly, since I've what wasted we got? so much time, That's all right. we have a great show today. Lots of information to get out about events coming up uh, and some events this weekend. Then in the digest, we're going to do just in case you missed it. We're going to recap some of the stories from earlier this week. Lots of videos for you today, so get excited about that. And then in the guest segment, we have an update from the Fitchburg Public Library, whom may have been in here earlier, and I may have discussed my walk. So maybe you'll hear that story again. <laughs> we'll see. I can't remember. I can't remember we'll either. figure it out. <laughs> we'll find out together. Yep. It's an experience. Boom. All right. Let's get right into the headlines. And today, I want to tell you about Pack in the Park. Do not forget it. I know you didn't. I know you can't. But it's tonight, August 10th, and it starts at 6 p.m. at McGee Farms Park. Keep an eye, just in case the weather decides to take a wacky, crazy turn. Uh, Keep an eye to the Facebook page of the Pittsburgh Rec Department. Keep an eye on the City of Pittsburgh's website. Keep an eye on our channels as well. But plan to be out there. They got a good movie coming up. They got Sherlock Gnomes. Jeremy's going to be out there, ladies and gentlemen. So you can say, like, hey, why weren't you on the show today, Jeremy? Come on. Come on, man. Say it to him just like that and pat him on the back. Go, hey, come on, man. But be gentle. Just saying. Be gentle. Okay, now you know about that. So that's coming up tonight for all you families. That is going to be a fun time. Then... Another event for families, kids, adults, everybody gets involved. This is the fifth annual Kicking It for Kids charity kickball tournament. That's kind of the sound that those balls make when you kick them. Yep. Uh, This is going to be August 11th. That's tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you got an all day event here, ladies and gentlemen. The free kids activities go from one to four. It goes until eight because they'll continue to play games into the evening. 
Uh, but they're going to have bouncy houses, mascots, concessions, and of course, don't forget that kids versus first responders kickball game. That is kind of the main event, so do not miss out on that. Get out there, enjoy uh, McGaw Park. It is a great park, and it is a great event. Support Reach a Child, too. Awesome, uh, awesome, uh, I don't know, organization, I guess, mm-hmm. is what I want to call them. They put together little backpacks with books, and they give them to first responders, so when they're dealing with kids in crisis, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, fun event. Really good uh, cause. Get out there, support them, and check it out. We'll have some people out there as well. So if you do miss it, which I hope you don't, you can check it out here Monday. See what it's all about. See what you missed out on so you can cry about it. Ha <laughs> ha. Got them. Hey, got another weekend event for you. Wow. I'm amazed. Look at all these events coming in. You folks out there, you like to find interesting finds. Maybe you can't find in just a Target or other big store, well, you can head out to the Pittsburgh Flea Market. This happens actually every Sunday through the whole summer here, uh, and it goes from 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. It's up at the Gorman Wayside Veterans Memorial Park. You might know it is right next to the old public work, or it's the now current public works facility on Selfish Hatchery Road. You can check it out there near the recycling uh, area and all that. It is a good time. All kinds of interesting stuff out there. There's usually quite a few people, so get out there. See what you might be able to find. Maybe unique gift ideas or something. Who knows? You tell me. And I mean that. Right in. Tell me what you found. I want to know. Seriously. Okay. Now, next week. Now we gotta, we're got to fast-forwarding to next week. We're talking about the 10th Annual Agora Art Fair. That's right. This is going to be on August 18th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., I think you all know about the Agora Art Fair, but if you don't, let me tell you about it. There's over 100 Wisconsin artists who are going to be showcased. Uh, They feature all kinds of mediums. So there's painting, ceramics, jewelry, photography, metalwork, sculpture, a million other things that I have missed and forgotten. Plus, accompanying with awesome art that you can purchase, by the way. The event has live music. There's beer out there. There's food out there. There's kids' activities. I mean, you can't go wrong with this one. Pack up the family. Get out here. It is just down by the Agora Pavilion on East Sherrill Parkway. Again, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on the 18th. Do not miss it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't miss it. I'm telling you. But we'll also be out there. So that way we can show you our perspective. But you don't miss it. Don't you? Don't you miss it. All right. Let's talk about great charity opportunities for our four-legged friends ladies and gentlemen charity dog wash and pet rescue adoptathon so you can stop by wagon tails this is the doggy dude ranch and fitchburg animal hospital for a charity dog wash and adoptathon same day here so this is on august 18th from 11 a.m to 3 p.m it is located at 6249 nesbitt road right next to Quibby's Grove, across the street from True Coffee Roasters and Yahara Bay Distillery. Uh, it says here you can stop by uh, from 10 a.m. to noon. Area rescue with uh, adoptable dogs and cats will be there. Uh, Fitchburg Fire Department is going to be there. Focus dog training information and demonstrations. Kona ice available, it says here. Trucks on site. Then food available. There's a 50-50 raffle. There's a silent auction. And all proceeds are going to adoption slash foster veterinary care fund so again sounds like a really really fun event kind of an interesting one plus you're contributing to a great cause so why not ladies and gentlemen it's gonna be a great time and speaking of time time for me to take a breath time for you to go grab a little bit more coffee come on back and we're gonna recap some of the week that was right here and just in case you missed it on talking fitchburg